I'm Tom Wormy for the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. And with Andy Murray becoming the first British man to win the Wimbledon Tennis Championships in 77 years, it got us to thinking about the most memorable droughts in ACC history. Renfrey has time, throws, caught! Jamison Crowder, touchdown Duke! And we start with Duke football. The Blue Devils had gone 18 years without appearing in a bowl game until last season when Duke played in the 2012 Belk Bowl against Cincinnati, the ninth bowl game in school history. The snap back to Danny Cannell. Then he hands off a ball. Oh, no, 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 he lost the ball. What are they going to call? They're going to say no. They're going to say no. Because he won the football game. Virginia. I don't believe it. In 1995, Virginia upset second ranked Florida State. 33-28 in Charlottesville. The Seminoles had not lost a conference game since joining the ACC in 1991. The Knowles were an unbelievable 29-0 in the ACC entering that game. Now some hoops. In 1990, Georgia Tech faced Virginia in the ACC basketball championship game. This marked the first time in the history of the tournament, which began in 1954, that there was not a North Carolina-based school in the final. To this day, it remains the only time it has occurred. The Yellow Jackets had lethal weapon three with Kenny Anderson, Dennis Scott, and Brian Oliver, who was named championship MVP. Just last month, NC State baseball ended a 45-year drought and made the College World Series. The Wolfpack, led by Carlos Rodon and Trey Turner, eventually bowed out to rival UNC. Maybe an even crazier drought, Wake Forest is the last ACC baseball team to win a College World Series all the way back in 1955. And finally, a drought that is still ongoing. The Clemson men's basketball team has never beaten North Carolina in Chapel Hill. That's 56 straight losses for the Tigers against the Tar Heels dating back to 1926. Most recently, Clemson lost at UNC on February 18th 2012.